Hello, I'm Dani. Welcome to the workshop. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to make a realistic cable. But on, not only this, you will learn how to predefine the global variables, how to think about the calculated values in global variables, and how to use a configuration with design table. For, for this tutorial, I'm going to make a flexible 2V cable from multi-contact. What we have to do first for our file is to make a definition for the conductor diameter, the outer diameter. And in the case with this cable, we will need also insulation thickness, but I will not use this value here. I will make it a calculated value because in my case it will be just for the white area of the cable. So we go to tools, equation, conductor diameter is our first value. Then we have outer diameter as our second value. and insulator thickness as a calculated value. When we are ready with our base definitions, we can start modeling our cable. We start on the top plane where we will make a path from the first end of the cable where we will have some edits. Make it longer than the area you will edit. For example, if you have to remove 5 millimeter insulation for your file or model, make it 10. And again, on the top plane, we will make a circle where we, from this we will make a helix, which will be representation of our winded cable. And then we need the second end. For the second end, I will add also a construction line. Also, we add a land, and in this case, we can add an angle. So, next step will be to make our helix, make it with variable pitch. First will be on two, second will be also on two. Later I will change <coughs> this 
So the important here to have more re realistic cable is to change the diameter. Also change it on a point 1.5. Add another height on 2.5. which will be 50, for example. Here we can make the pitch lower. Because it's going outside, even it could be zero. Okay, it could, could not be zero, but 0 0.1 should work. Forty-five, maybe fifty was too much. And our helix is ready. Next thing that we have to do is the base cable to create the swept uh, the path for it. So we make a three D sketch, convert our helix, add spline attached to our main pad and tangent, also tangent to the helix. Make this for both ends. Next, we will make a sketch for both ends to model them. First, we will start from the front plane and end number one. We need uh, three circles. The inner one is the conductor diameter, which we will ha we have already as a value. Then between the first and the second is our thickness of insulator. And the last one is the outer diameter. Now we have to make a plane and a sketch for the second end. And we make exactly the same sketch. What we have to do also is to make the pitch equal to the outer diameter. We double click on our helix and we took all the pitch values which are equal to our diameter and we chose the value to be outer diameter. Now we have to model the two ends. We start with swap, selection manager, select the inner area, then the pad. Show our sketches, we need them two more times. Again, selection manager, select the second area and the pad. Don't forget to uncheck merge result.
Now repeat the steps for the second end. Once we are ready with the two ends, we can model the cable. For the main part, we don't need all three bodies, so we will model just the outer diameter. We will take it directly from the part here and choose the path. And here we select to be merged with this and this part here only. Now we can assign some materials. Assign it to the body. Now when we want to make some edits, we can just use direct editing, move face, choose the faces we want to move, flip the direction and here we have it, our copper and visible or the conductor. This is also how the cable is looking. It's not perfect, but it's really much more realistic than a simple, uh, without variables, uh, simple helix. Now, what we have to do next is add at least one more configuration, our second one, so we can add also a design table and make it easier for the, the other models. Now we go to our equations and change the values for this configuration. Let, let us check the values 0 0.9 and 2.3. 0 0.9. And 2.3. Now, when we go into different configurations, we will see how our cable changes. And from this step, it's easy to add more different sizes for the cable. All you have to do is insert table, design table. I will leave it to auto create. If you mark here block model edits, it will not allow you to change the values from within the model. If you leave it like this, you can change it inside the model and you don't have to enter in the design table every time. Uh, depending on how you work and access to your files, sometimes it's much better to use the block. I will not use it in this case. As you can see, first, uh, first two configurations that we have are already inside. The second is with wrong description. I will fix this. I will make two more so you can see the changes. I will copy the color. Now 
So this is the conductor diameter is the same, the outer diameter is more. So we have to change only the outer diameter. Then we add the next one. Here the conductor diameter is 1.25 and the outer 3.9. Once we are ready with our changes to the design table, we just click somewhere outside of it and it will add the configurations with the values that we have picked. Now I will go here just to see the changes. As you can see, the outer diameter was bigger only. Here both are bigger. And this is how you make it fast and easy a cable, realistic looking with different configurations. One more thing is left. This is the color. As you can see, okay, we have three main colors. It's black, red and blue. You can make it with the different configurations, but the easier way is to use a display state. I will just add a new display state, which will be 22 and I will change the color to red and as you can see you just change the displayed state and you have the different view of your cable so our cable is ready now you can think for other ways in which you can use the information you have learned in this tutorial please don't forget to like the video Share your thoughts or questions in the comments and subscribe for the channel.